Our solar system is full of mysterious objects that come from, well, everywhere. In October 2017, researchers in Hawaii spotted a mysterious thing that they dubbed a muamua. This means a visitor from a faraway land in Hawaiian. Or, that's a really big cow! It followed an escape orbit. It literally escaped from its planet's gravitational pull, like throwing a ball into space never to return. This meant that this weird thing arrived from somewhere outside of our solar system. There were tons of theories about what it was, from a simple asteroid to an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Scientists even thought it was a chunk of nitrogen ice from a Pluto-like planet. Its strange shape only added to the mystery. The big changes in the light curves showed that this thing could be either elongated like a tube or more flat like a pancake. This thing was unlike anything we've seen before. Oumuamua didn't behave exactly like a comet or an asteroid. Comets are icy and form bright tails when they pass near the sun, while asteroids are basically just rocks and don't form tails. Oumuamua has no tail and doesn't release gas, like me. But it's not your average rock either. Its surface is very shiny, almost like polished metal. When it passed by the sun, it sped up, like it had a rocket on it. And it wasn't the sun's gravity that gave Oumuamua the sudden boost. Scientists aren't sure what caused it. So what in the world was that thing? After years of study, scientists now think that Oumuamua is probably a comet with frozen hydrogen on its surface. This hydrogen reacted with sunlight, speeding up the comet and changing its path. Oumuamua likely got all that hydrogen from being exposed to tons of cosmic rays for a long time. It got some nice red tint from them as well. Oumuamua was a visitor from a young, chaotic solar system where collisions and migrations happen all the time. Such systems often toss many small objects around. It might have been pushed out by a planet like Jupiter, whose gravity is so insanely strong that it can fling huge things into outer space. The same thing often happens with comets here. Oumuamua already left our solar system, although similar objects visit us sometimes, about once per year. To learn more about these mysterious guests, astronomers plan to send a probe to chase Oumuamua. We'll use Earth's and Jupiter's orbits to slingshot it fast enough to catch up with the comet. But some of the unexpected visitors stayed a bit longer. In October 2019, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took a picture of a bluish comet trailing dust and gas. It was already in the solar system at the time, around 260 million miles away from Earth, somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. We saw the glowing dust surrounding it, but we couldn't yet see its nucleus, since it's way too small. Well, small is relative here. The thing is about 3,200 feet across, which is like the length of nine football fields. In March 2020, Hubble images showed that a small fragment of the comet broke away from the nucleus. That means that the comet is very active, unlike Oumuamua. As we observed it further, we found that the nucleus is a loose mix of ice and dust particles. Its surface is also very similar to others, with rough areas and smooth blankets of icy, dusty debris. The comet was discovered by an amateur astronomer, Gennady Borisov, so it got the name Comet 2i Borisov. Congratulations! Scientists quickly confirmed it came to us from outside our solar system. And this thing sure was an enthusiastic tourist. It traveled at a breakneck speed of about 110,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to circle the Earth four times in just one hour. This visit was fascinating for several reasons. Most comets in our solar system come from the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud. The Kuiper Belt is a region of space beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's like a big, distant ring around the Sun, filled with many small, icy objects. All of them are ancient leftover pieces from the time when our solar system was still very young. The Oort Cloud is much farther. It's like a giant bubble around the solar system, also filled with super-old icy objects. Most long-period comets come from there. But where did the comet 2i Borisov come from? We still don't know for sure. Scientists say that it likely formed in another star system, which could be either younger or older than our solar system. Would be weird if there was a third option, NASA. Anyway, it might have been kicked out from its home system, just like Oumuamua. 
Although Comet 2i Borisov is too small to hold on to its own atmosphere, it developed a coma when it approached the Sun. Now, coma is a funny name for that beautiful glowing cloud of gas and dust that surrounds the comet's nucleus. It forms when the Sun's heat causes the comet's ice to vaporize, releasing dust and gas into space. This one was friendlier than Oumuamua and gave us some more time to study it. As a result, we learned more about its cool, unique traits. For example, it had never interacted with another star. But unfortunately, Borisov had to leave too. Now it's on a path that will take it back into interstellar space. However, there are many more visitors to come, and you might have heard of this one. The Great Comet of 1996. That's what we call the Comet Hayakutake. It was also named after the astronomer who discovered it, Yuji Hayakutake. In a beautiful coincidence, it was discovered on New Year's Eve. On March 25, 1996, this thing passed by incredibly close to Earth, only about 0.1 astronomical units away, a bit farther than the Moon. It passed over the North Pole. This made it one of the closest comet encounters in 200 years. It was visible worldwide, and it looked very bright and beautiful in the sky, stretching out widely. And it didn't stay for one night only. It got more and more visible during March, becoming one of the brightest objects in the night sky by the end of the month. The comet only fully faded by the end of May. It's a long-period comet, which means it takes hundreds of years to orbit the Sun. The last time it visited was about 17,000 years ago, and now its orbital period increased to 70,000 years. But don't be upset, there are other comets that will brighten our days and nights. Besides, some space objects prefer to stay around for longer. Now, there's this asteroid with a multisyllabic name that, to pronounce, is above my pay grade. This name in Hawaiian means the mischievous one of Jupiter. Luckily, scientists had mercy on us and dubbed it BZ. Hey, speaking for all the other narrators, thank you. It's a small asteroid, only about 1.8 miles in diameter. You can guess from the name that it shares an orbit with Jupiter. But there's a cool catch. The asteroid moves in the opposite direction, which is known as a retrograde orbit. The unusual asteroid was discovered on November 2014. It orbits the Sun for about 11 years and 8 months, sometimes passing inside and outside of Jupiter's orbit. It's been this way for at least a million years, and it will remain so for about a million more. But why does it move so unusually? BZ might actually be an interstellar immigrant. Perhaps it passed by our solar system about 4.5 billion years ago, around the time when the Sun was just forming. Then it got captured by gravity, but saved its opposite orbit. Or maybe it came from the Oort cloud. Then it could get its weird orbit from the mysterious planet 9, a hypothetical planet that's believed to exist in our solar system far beyond Jupiter. In any case, this asteroid gives us more insight into the history of the solar system and how organic materials can travel to us from outer space. Now, at any given time, there are thousands of objects in our solar system that come from outer space. They stay here for different lengths of time. But sometimes we get lucky, and they end up teaching us a lot about interstellar space. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.